What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 8 and today's topic will be the continuation of the last topic which was last ownership and in this topic I'll be going to talk about uh, on this two part probably um, we'll be uh, going to actually continue the string data type and with respect to that we can say that we'll be going to cover stack heap and the memory management overview how actually string data types being uh, represented in your memory okay so before moving forward uh, i'd like to uh, recap the last tutorial which we did so this is a simple uh, piece of code so here we uh, declare our main function and after that uh, we assign uh, one string test string in a variable and after that we try to uh, like assign the same variable to uh, b and once we did that we we, we tried to uh, print the value of b and a separately but for b we didn't get any error for a we get we got some error so error was like that uh, uh, value borrowed after move it means um, you have some value over here okay and when you assign this thing in rust actually the ownership of the value transform from a to b now a is not having anything so that is why we got this error value bro borrowed from here after move okay if you use integer data type uh, instead of string no error will be occurred cause for the string uh, the the management of the uh, like management is different in the, inside the memory the values are represented in a different way so we need to understand that to understand the rust ownership rule actually so that is why we did this tutorial in the um, tutorial 17 this is tutorial 18 uh, so in the last tutorial we have already uh, explained um, this thing but in today's topic I'll be going to talk about more on the stack heap and memory management okay but not the uh, detailed memory management so it will take hours and days and month but whatever is required to our uh, uh, course we'll explain that thing okay so again so ownership means who is having or owning the data at this moment and borrow borrowed means we are trying to uh, like uh, uh getting the same value again after you move the ownership so here the value has been already moved the owner, owner is now b not a but again we are trying to print the value a so that is why we are getting the error okay so let's drive to the next slide which is our actual topic c uh, okay so something happened so okay so see how memory been uh, how sorry how the how the string data type being managed in memory so suppose you are having one string a and is co containing the value total and we'll try to explain this thing using with the help of this slide okay so before we uh, jump in and start explaining this slide so probably i think i should uh, write a piece of code first and then after uh, doing that thing it will be easier for understand so what i'll do let me open my id actually okay it's open over here so first thing first we'll declare the function okay like this and we'll create one variable string a so string and after that like this and we all know how a string so if someone is not familiar with this so probably i can do something i'll go back here so string has been uh, declared in this way okay so just remember this thing so um, and after that you can write whatever you want so for us it will be total okay so here actually I am using total so if you if you see here so uh, our string value is total so that's why but don't don't confuse get confused about this structure now just try to follow along with me so it will be small okay and what happens after that we'll try to print this thing print ln and it will be semicolon and okay and we'll write a like this that's it so we'll save this thing and we'll try to run using cargo run uh, what happened something gone okay i did a mistake here the spelling the typo always this happens with me see we got this thing total okay now 
how this total is represented in the memory internally we'll explain this thing now okay so this is our string a and when you define one string or declare one string or assigning some value to the string internally what happened in memory you have to understand that so you have two data types in memory one is stack and one is deep so when you assign something in uh, in string uh, in case of blast so the first part is stack in the st inside the stack we will get three things pointer length of the string and capacity for this case we can uh, think it as a 5 5 will not go into detail uh, length means uh, uh, the the how many uh, or, or length means or you can say it's like kind of uh, uh, size in byte okay so here five just think about that way but we'll explain this thing in the later part there is no uh, like uh, no relation between uh, length and capacity in this tutorial we have to understand only the concept of uh, like reference and the movement of the data or the ownership of the data so one is pointer one is length and one is capital this is the internal data structure uh, structure of the stack so what happens here so when you assign uh, some value to the um, or some variable uh, as a string or you are assigning some string variable with some value so internally it is divided into two data structure one is stack and in this one is heap in the stack you will get the pointer of the, some memory location and it is pointing to the first index to that memory location and 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 it is actually inside a heap so this is a stack it has pointer length and capacity of the string and the pointer is having some address and that address is actually the first index of the uh, actual value which is stored inside a heap so this is stack and this is heap so this pointer is having some address which is actually pointing to the first index of the value and this complete memory uh, locations is uh, placed inside a heap okay so in this way string data types are managed inside a memory so i'm let me explain this thing again so this whenever you are doing uh, some operation with the string or some other types of data internally what happened uh, uh, like um, it is actually uh, it is actually divided into two part okay and in the first part is actually um, the stack and the next part is actually a heap and what contains inside a heap uh, it is actually uh, one thing is called pointer one is length and one is capacity okay so length and capacity you don't have to understand at this moment it is quite uh, uh, quite um, similar for this case but the main part is the left side pointer so left side pointer is holding the address of the of the pointer and it is pointing to the first uh, index of the value so for our case this is total it is uh, stored in the different index uh, 0 1 2 3 4 and it is having some address for this 0 so this address is act actually pointing to the first address and after that it can go like this okay or if, uh, if you can think in a different way it is actually pointing uh, to the uh, actual memory location if you are don't thinking like uh, zero but internally it is not pointing to the first index it is something else just to make you guys understand i'm just thinking uh, in that way that it will give you some sort of confidence but when we'll go and discuss this in a more detail if you have some time at the end of this course we can uh, go this thing in a more detailed way okay so for the time being uh, just think about that it is actually uh, having some address and this address is pointing to the first index but no this is the address which is pointing to the whole uh, like this is a pointer which is pointing to the memory location and from that location you can easily iterate uh, through this element one two three four so this is stack and this is heap now what happens when you uh where is my id let me so now what happened if you uh assign let b to a and after that you try to put this thing okay so let me see value borrowed after move so we get the same error why it is showing like this because the a value is no more uh, available here it is uh, like assigned to b and after that if you are trying to put this thing you will get some error but if you try to print b it will not give any error so what i'll do try to print b so you got total no error so why this is happening to understand this thing we need to go back to the slide and actually to the next slide 
so what happen when you uh, remove this thing when you assign a uh, when you assign uh, a value to b uh, the string data is copied this is very hypo uh, very very uh, like very high level thing the meaning of copy you have to understand that the meaning of copy means the tag data is actually copied it means the point of the length and the capacity and the reference also removed from here to here here the reference is from here to here and here the reference from here to here so the a doesn't contain any pointer so if the, if if a is not having any pointer reference then automatically this reference gone see this reference is no more available here so the reference already uh, set from b to here so if you try to access this thing after that where is my id if you try to access this thing after that it will definitely uh, tell you that because value borrowed because you already remove everything from here to here this stack uh, contains the the point at the length and capacity everything has been moved here okay let me write this five five for the sake of understanding okay okay and the reference the moment you move everything from this uh, stack to here okay the copied this thing and it is actually pointing to here okay so that is why it is saying that uh, um, what is value borrowed after move okay so it means whenever this variable goes out of scope okay rust automatically calls the drop function and clean cleans up the heap memory for that variable okay but both pointers but 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 there is a there is a difference like uh, there is a difference like uh, uh, how to explain that okay so now this pointer is no more pointing to this thing so this may uh, there is nothing for this thing but suppose you uh, like you uh, close your program or if you uh, like um, executed everything and you close everything from that time this memory will be automatically freed up like uh, rust will again change this thing like if there is no more references available or something like that rust will do it for you okay but for that thing you have to understand uh, these things like uh, this uh, what is my id again so we understand this memory ownership rule okay and 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 there is one thing uh, why uh, rust is doing this thing suppose uh, it is cop uh, copied the value here and also keeping this thing here okay so you have two reference from uh, this reference is from here and this reference is from here okay so now suppose uh, uh, now suppose uh, you, you you want to free up some memory uh, like for the variable one so that time there could be uh, some sort of confusion or probably uh, um, some bugs will be there like definitely because uh, if you are not uh, using this variable but he is using this variable but rather you are keeping this thing here and also here and it is actually um, um, like um, uh, like going to be very difficult okay so that is why the arrangement is here but this is not the right explanation like whatever i am giving just uh, telling you there is something called uh, uh, double uh, double free error of your memory because a, a two times memory has to be freed one is for here like and one is to for here and uh, not because one is to for here and one is for here actually the rep representation of the stack side will be same because it is both of them as pointing to the same memory in this case but if you're copying the whole data means suppose what i'm saying uh, let me explain you suppose copying means uh, okay suppose when you copy something it means not only the stack thing it should copy the heap now that just think about that that the string is very huge like let's say anything 
and that time this operation is going to cost you very expensive because in the memory you already having this data and you if you are not using this uh, variable and if you're only required to use uh, this variable and using the same data then why you should copy the heap data structure again inside your memory so it will going to cost you double because this variable uh, is this 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 data is already available inside a memory and again uh, when you are going to uh, free up your memory you have to free up for this thing and that thing so that is also called uh, some sort of uh, like expensive operation because you have to do uh, uh, things twice okay so that is why what is actually happens in rust whenever you are assigning one uh, string variable or the value of the string variable to another so immediately the ownership comes to the uh, present uh, variable and the reference already uh, been will be set like uh, from uh, this pointer to the actual heap address so there will be no change inside a heap so rather in the stack data structure it will be changed and every content of the existing stack will be come back uh, will come will come to the new new variable okay okay so and and the moment it comes uh, like for the new variable it will automatically pointing to the new location so in this way it is actually happening okay so uh, and, 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 and 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 for this tag okay and for this tag everything will be free up so that is why it is saying the value has been um, uh, like uh, borrowed after move so this thing has been moved from here to here and nothing is having here so that is why we are getting this error because it is not pointing to any reference so everything is here but again there is something called clone uh, like this think I think like this okay and this will work if you see see we can get B and as well as you can get We can get B as well. See total total, but this is this is not the right thing because in our case the value uh, is only total, so length is very small, and the memory um, in the memory in the, there is not much uh, uh, going to change or affect you or cost you for 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 the for the for the purpose of your uh, optimization or the 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 processing okay but suppose you are going to deal with uh, like 100 100 uh, text file or csv file and you are going to parse like huge uh, numbers of lines and that time if you are doing this sort of clone operation unnecessarily you are going to cost uh, too much on your uh, processing memory and the overall uh, like processing time of the program or application so those things you need to consider okay so i think this is going to be very complex for many of you but don't worry just uh, go through it uh, what happens and um, let me explain you whenever you are uh, um, uh, declaring one uh, string and assigning some values to it it is internally it is uh, like this so one side is stack and one side is heap so stack is going to uh, hold the pointer length and capacity and this pointer is actually pointing to the if where all the index are placed and the value corresponding to index and whenever you are assigning uh, the same variable uh, to another variable this content of the stack is comes to another uh, like for this variable and everything will be freed up and automatically the reference will be set from the uh, like for this variable from the here to here so what happens here uh, is that the whatever value which was or whatever uh, pointing uh, whatever was pointing by this track is no more available so only reference available for the new variable so that is why um, we are getting this error like the ownership has been changed from a to b and b is now owning this heap okay so a, a is no more owning the heap because there is no reference so they have to understand that so initially when you declare the and assign the value a was the owner because he is uh, getting the reference or set uh, was the reference was set for a but now whenever you move this value so the reference already been set for this thing and b is the new owner so this is the ownership rule okay so i believe uh, i tried to um, make it as much as possible um, uh, simple but i'm not sure about uh, uh, how you guys are uh, getting this thing probably complex i believe and if that is the case guys please uh, feel free to reach me out i'll try to explain this thing in a one more uh, intermediate tutorial but uh, 
just let me know uh, if you're not able to understand or if you have still have some doubt please let me know because this this is i'm doing only for you and 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 if you guys are not able to understand it is actually it doesn't make any sense for me and as well for you if you guys are going to understand this concept then actually it will be helping for me that i'm uh, able to put something uh, in a more uh, valuable or effective way so that you guys can understand so that's it guys i'll try to upload this slide as as well as the course um, code uh, to my github repository you guys can definitely refer to this but before uh, closing this video i'll uh, request all of you guys to do some sort of practice understand the pre uh, requisite of uh, memory management heap and rust ownership so in the next tutorial onwards we'll try to uh, we'll try to uh, start some advanced topic as well so if you guys are not able to understand this uh, basics uh, of rust it will be difficult for you to uh, grasp those concept as well okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video uh, till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button if you have any suggestion comment feedback for us please feel free to reach me out and all the udemy students thank you very much for purchasing this course it is actually helping me a lot to improve my own capabilities and also uh, helping me uh, to reach uh, larger audience and again same thing for udemy students if you're having any question doubt clarification pl please write me on the uh, message box or you can directly send me email i'll be always there to help you so once again have a nice day we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and happy learning